We're now going to create a catalog or directory using the mail, mail merge wizard. And the first thing we do, well, you can see I created a, a blank document. Um, if you already have an existing document, you can also have that open as well. Go up to the mailings tab and then start mail merge. And at the bottom, use the step by step mail merge wizard. So the first um, part of the wizard, I select what type of document. This is going to be a directory. And as soon as I select directory, you can see it's a single document containing a catalog or printed list of addresses, such as like a telephone list. Then I click on next. And I can use the current document, start from a template, or start with an existing document, so a saved file somewhere. Then I click on Next, and I can use uh, an existing recipient list, basically an existing data source, because it might not be uh, recipients, uh, Outlook contacts, or I can type a list from scratch. I'm going to use my existing list, click on Browse, and this time I'm going to use my Word document, and it brings them up. Got the whole list here, and I could untick if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to select them all, click on OK, and if I've opened that up and thought, oh no, that's not the right list, I can select a different list, or if I've clicked on OK and I thought, actually wanted to get rid of something. There we go, and I get the list back. Next, I arrange my directory. Now, if it's a catalog, a directory, anything, you basically put all of the fields and text you want to repeat. If you have any headings or anything else, don't put them on till the end. And by headings, I mean like um, company catalog or, or a page that says uh, what what the catalog contains or at the end uh, have an order form, that kind of thing. You just want the body, the basic information in the middle. So what I'm going to do is uh, insert, I would like something like a telephone directory and I'm only going to have a very small one so I'm going to put first, oh, I'm not even going to put first name or anything, I'm just going to put the fields in. So I have first name, and then I'm going to put in the last name, and then the city. Now, if I haven't done this for a while, I forget. And um, I forget how to do it, and I always do it wrong. <laughs> so. When I preview it, it doesn't actually look wrong because it's only showing me one. And then I click on next and I click to uh, create a new document. I'm going to do everything. And you can see what it does. Now it's, it's created correctly because um, I did it exactly perfect, but I'm going to do it wrong. <laughs> which is the way I normally do it to begin with, okay? So I'm just going to control N to get a new document. Go into mailings and start a new mail merge. Step-by-step -step mail merge wizard and a directory. Then click on next and I'm going to use my current document, use an existing list. It's in my SkyDrive and then and then I might do something like usually I don't even put the telephone list but I do put in something like that and I put Then I put the items in. So we have first name, first 
City. And then, oops, wrong one. Date. Get rid of that time. There we go. Previewing it looks fine. It's when I actually merge it that you look at it and think, yeah, it's not quite what I wanted. <laughs> okay. So you can see the difference between this document and then you see the 50 million documents I have open and the previous one. There we go. Where I can now go into my layout and I can insert above and put in the first um, the first line, the headings, and then and then at the very top put in my or it might just be in this case you can see I don't have telephone, so it's just a pretend one, but you can see exactly how you would add things at the end um, in order to get this looking correct. Same with products. If you were to create a document where you didn't use a table, you had, um, I don't know, it would be catalog number. And then you could insert the field name here, and then you might have description and you might actually have a line or something in between everything and in that case it's perfectly fine um, but just don't put things like oops, catalog you just wouldn't put the heading like that in because it would also repeat this as well okay so that is creating a catalog or a directory.